A particular Catholic friar named Casey Cole recently posted an open letter to atheists. In that video, his question is, are you a good atheist? Which he means in both the moral sense of the word good, do you act like a good person, and in the intellectual sense of the word good, have you actually done the legwork to justify your conclusions? You say that you're an atheist, that you don't believe in gods, and I just want to know one thing. Are you a good one? Are you a good atheist? First, the question of morality. Casey makes a big deal of the fact that atheism and atheists don't have a single unified moral code, and he insinuates that this is somehow a problem with no evidence to support his concern that atheists are at risk of behaving immorally compared to Catholics. While religion in general, and Christianity in particular, doesn't necessarily make someone a moral person, these ways of life do necessarily demand morality of adherence. There is a particular code of life that one must live. Lord knows we don't always live up to our founder and have actually done some pretty atrocious things through the years, but it is our faith that at least informs us when we do these things and gives us and reminds us a moral code to live by. Now, as someone who doesn't have this foundation, who doesn't believe in a god or adhere to a religion, there is no superstructure making this demand on your life. No one telling you how to live in certain situations. And so I ask you, are you a good atheist? Even though there may be no eternal reward or punishment, even though you're free to do whatever you want, do you choose the virtuous path that benefits not only you, but others? I hope so. Frankly, when it comes to morality and adhering to your own moral code, I think there is no group less well-suited to pointing fingers than the Catholic Church. Casey cautions atheists about their own morality as he openly flaunts his membership in the Catholic Church, an organization which systematically covers up for pedophile priests, not to mention the centuries of inquisitions, wars, and theft. Oh, but that's okay because at least they have a moral code which tells them they shouldn't be protecting pedophiles and rapists. I'm so bad, but at least I know I'm bad, so that makes me a little less bad, or worse. That was the right thing to do, PETA. Casey seriously expects us to believe that it's better to have a unified moral code, whose adherents systematically subvert it to protect the people who violate it, rather than having an informal collection of various moral codes, which basically all agree that child rape is wrong, and whose adherents don't systematically subvert these codes to protect the people who violate them. Yeah, I did rape your child one time, or multiple times, and everyone around me is protecting me from punishment, but it's okay because I have a moral code formally written down which says I shouldn't have done it. The audacity of a Catholic authority to cast aspersions on the morality of atheism as a group is unbelievable. I'm pretty sure Jesus said something about the log in your own eye. The second part of Casey's question is about intellectual rigor. On this front, it boggles my mind that an American like Casey, presumably speaking to a mostly American audience, has the balls to insinuate that it is the atheists in his audience who are at risk of not being intellectually rigorous about their conclusions. When I ask if you are a good atheist, I want to know if you are good at being an atheist. Do you articulate why you don't believe in God in a coherent way, or you just think that religion's dumb, so use logical fallacies? Have you explored the depths of your mind and heart, asking the real questions of life, of death, faith, and reason, seeking to understand what this human life is really about? You just not want to go to church, so this'll do. I ask all of this not to be accusatory, at least not overly accusatory, but to simply challenge you to go deeper in your thought. First off, just think about this in bare high-level terms. In a country that is around 70% Christian and only about 3-7% to atheist, depending on who you count, which person, Christian or atheist, do you think is more likely to have been challenged to defend their conclusion? Which person do you think is more likely to have come to their conclusion despite what their parents taught them? And which person do you think is more likely to have come to their conclusion as a predictable result of lazily adopting their parents' beliefs? Which person do you think had to manually construct their beliefs from the ground up? 
and which person do you think was free to just intellectually coast, safe in the knowledge that the people around them really weren't going to hold their feet to the fire? Is this the longest rhetorical question I've ever asked? In fact, the last time we surveyed American religious groups about their knowledge of religion, the most knowledgeable group turned out to be... Atheists, followed closely by Jews and Mormons, who are then followed by a significant drop to white evangelical Protestants, and then finally we get to white Catholics, who sit right at the average of 16 out of 32 questions answered correctly. That is a failing grade in American schools, but maybe not in Catholic schools. If Casey really is concerned about the people in the dialogue not knowing what they're talking about, then he should write an open letter to white Catholics, and especially, it seems, to Hispanic Catholics. You almost have to admire the balls on this guy to caution atheists, of all people, against intellectual laziness and lack of understanding. So, in summary, what stands out to me about this open letter to atheists is the sheer audacity of Friar Casey Cole. There he sits, a member of the Catholic Church, implying that atheists are the ones who are at risk of being immoral, and that atheists are the ones who are at risk of having not done the intellectual work to justify their position, when it is Catholicism and Catholics who we know perform worse on both fronts. Crawl back into your confession booth and think about what you said. 